Hey, what's up guys? There's something major I wanna talk about in today's Jailbreak update. First up, this comes completely out of the blue. Will, aka Chronic, from the Chronic dev team, may be stepping back into the public jailbreak world and work on a new jailbreak utility for every version of iOS 13. Now, if you don't know, this team is responsible for OG tools back in the day like Green Poison and Absinthe. Very serious poll, raise your hand if you're interested in a nice, stable jailbreak tool done right for every single current and future firmware version supported by Checkmate compatible iOS devices. And looking at the replies, it was an overwhelming yes by the jailbreak community for this to happen. So he says he'll update us further in the near future. More on this soon. But holy crap, guys, we have one of the OG jailbreak developers back in the game developing an iOS 13 jailbreak with the Checkmate exploit. Well, since this exploit is so huge and so important, I wanted to remind everyone what firmwares are affected, what devices are affected, and what can be achieved with this exploit. Well, as you guys know, there's a lot of devices affected by this exploit. It's a hardware level exploit, meaning Apple cannot patch this with software. So yes, for iOS 13.2, even the beta, as well as the public version of iOS 13.1.2, all of these firmwares can be exploited by the Checkmate exploit on these devices on screen now. Now secondly, the devices that are not affected, which are now these, these will require a new software-based kernel level exploit or again, another hardware exploit. I highly doubt that's going to happen, but who knows? I never thought I'd ever see another hardware or boot ROM level exploit ever again. I mean, the last one was like seven years ago. Now we have the Checkmate exploit four devices all the way up to the iPhone 10. Anyway, again, for A12 and A13 devices, so the iPhone 10s as well as the iPhone 11, as well as some of the iPad Pro models, those are going to need a new exploit, either hardware or software-based, in order to get a jailbreak for them. So if you guys have newer devices, remain on the lowest possible version of iOS that you guys can. Anyway, if you don't have a device with an A13 or A12 processor, really, it's looking like it's up to you as to where you want to stay um, especially if you're on iOS 13, I would just say update away because you can always use that hardware level exploit. Again, really not too much has come out. Developers are still hard at work creating utilities with this new exploit. I'm sure we're going to see a non setter pretty soon. Tanner did a video yesterday demoing verbose boot on the iPhone 10. That was pretty cool. And again, that was on iOS 13. 0.1.2. That same process will work on this brand new beta that was released today as well as a not setter and the verbose boot utility. Again, we can see things like downgrade tools in the near future. Of course, how could I forget a jailbreak for iOS 13 is very likely to be coming out probably within the next month, I would say, because one, the developers need to figure out how to use the exploit, Two, they need to install Cydia, and then three, there needs to be that final post-exploitation jailbreak step to get Cydia and Substrate and Tweaks and everything working like that. So there are still a few steps, but really, the main piece of the puzzle here is already laid out on the table. Everything else just takes a little bit of time to get up and running. Anyway, final note here, if you guys are on iOS 12.4 and happily jailbroken, just stay there and save your blobs for the devices that you have so you can update to iOS 13 at a later date. Um, and again, if you guys have any of the affected devices, just sit tight. I mean, you guys are in the best spot you can possibly be. For anyone out there looking to upgrade to an iPhone 10, that is the best device to have right now that's going to be getting a jailbreak for pretty much every version of iOS 13 that comes out, every version of iOS 14 that comes out, and every version of iOS 15 and so forth. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the Checkmate exploit and iOS 13.2. If you guys have an iPhone 10 or below, you're good to go. Again, if you have an A12 or A13 device, uh, stay on the lowest possible version of iOS that you can because we're going to need another exploit in order to jailbreak those devices. Anyway, just a quick update today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.